so what's up guys and welcome once again to forex success um, um okay guys i'm going to show you how to trade crash and boom so we are going to be using crash 1000 guys in this video i'm going to show you the wonders of this strategy trading crash and boom guys like it's so amazing and i'm going to teach you this style to trade crash and boom guys you will make profitably from it if you learn this video to the end if you watch this video carefully to the end so guys before we get started make sure you hit that red subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to this channel and hit the like button so guys this is what i want you to know this is crash and boom i believe a lot of you know this strategy for crash and boom but guys i'm going to show you a way you can make massively from it not just catching spike the wonders of this strategy okay guys let's see first of all i'll show you how to set the indicators you just need four indicators all indicators should be at indicator window one the first indicator you will need is the average directional movement in this the average directional movement in this you use the period 50 the style style should be two pixel positive di two pixel you can use color green and the negative di two pixel use the color of your screen then you click on done so guys please watch this carefully commodity channel index the next indicator the period 14 they apply to typical price the style is on two pixel you can use the color uh, a light green then the levels is negative 100 and positive 100 then you click done the third indicator is the moving average period 10 shift 0 method should be simple apply to close and then the style should be 4 pixel you can use color red guys please watch this carefully then you click done a lot of people won't show you this a lot of traders won't show you this but guys i'm showing you this i just want us to make money i mean i know the, your broker must have eaten a lot from you so i feel it's good for you to take it back take back your money from them so guys the next indicator is the market facilitation index make sure you hit that like button guys and share it to your friends and make drop good comments subscribe to the channel turn on notifications so you won't miss any part like so guys the next indicator is market facilitation in this the volume is thick line width 4 pixel the mfi up that the volume up should be green just as you seen on my screen the mfi down volume down black the mfi up volume down black and the mfi down volume up green then you click done just the way you see it on my screen guys you click done okay you know as we all know this is crash 1000 so crash 1000 guys that's what we're trading now okay guys you know this is a, a spike catching strategy but guys okay normally in catching spikes you should know that once the moment the red moving average cross above the green line you get a spike at the above the overbought level which is this hundred upwards from this hundred up it's the overbought and from this from this point down is the oversold level guys hope you get that okay at the overbought so once it crosses above this hundred guys you're expecting a spike okay so the moment the red moving average cross above you are expecting a spike if you've watched the previous video you will understand this so i'm not going to be emphasizing a long a lot on this but i'm going to show you how you can make a lot from this strategy okay guys this strategy doesn't work only on one minute time frame on five minute time frame it also works look each time that condition is met it says it says look it crossed above it is say you see once you see it cross above just like this it's a say 
so guys you can see this the moment it crosses above it is say it crosses above it is say that's for five minutes let's check on 15 minutes guys please watch this video till the end <laughs> you are you 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 will wish you will be so happy after you learn this so okay once it crosses above it is say at the overbought level okay check out one hour time frame it crosses above it is say you see guys it crosses above it is say okay so guys you can see this it crosses above it is say once it crosses above it is say guys in this strategy all you need is patience patience it works it crosses above it's a say okay this is what i want you to know it also work in any time frame look day time frame guys check out daily time frame guys it crossed above at this point look at this line it crossed above and then look a massive sell if you were to keep this trade down a massive sell guys and you still keeping so guys, this is what I want you to know. This is how I place my trade. Look, you can see my sell up my my trade here, the trade I placed sell. Why? This red moving average crossed above on the daily time frame, guys, on the daily time frame. And ever since then, I've been keeping this trade. It's still on sale with minimal lot size. Check out weekly time frame. It also crossed above look and ever since then it has been selling guys check it out anywhere it crossed above anywhere this condition is met on higher time frame guys it works look at daily time frame check the daily time frame it crossed above it has been selling it crossed here yeah. and look it's a sell so guys i remember i told you guys that for a trade to be massively correct like short trades this is what you should look at for when you move the screen just the way i'm doing it now that's when the condition is met the red moving average crossing above the green when it's met just like what we can see here guys i told you that if you move the screen to the beginning the chart to the beginning of your screen and the end and it doesn't move it still remain the intersection still remain that's the red moving average still crosses above that green that is a short trade guys and it's mostly on a long trend okay guys this is another example i'm talking about here you can see at the beginning of the screen for this point it crossed but when you move it here look it didn't the intersection was no more so guys that's why we had a lot of um consolidation before it later went through so guys look at another example it crossed and look a heavy set a heavy set when you move it here it doesn't the intersection remains for the daily time frame so guys this strategy is a boom look for this one it still remains the intersection remains both at the beginning and the end of the screen guys i'm teaching you this because many people won't tell you about this because they don't want um derive to to change the system so immediately you find a, a working strategy for you many people won't want to share it so derive won't maintain change their maintenance and therefore do something and that will make that strategy to be to be useless you know definitely stuff that's why you can find some strategy they work then later on they stop working so guys what you need is practicing i i always say that you need to keep on practicing so guys check out this trade for daily time frame the condition was met it crossed above it crossed above it started selling look this red moving average was pointing downward ready for a downtrend and it's still selling guys if you see this kind of this this kind of condition that it crossed above and it's facing down ready for a downtrend you can confirm your trades on the weekly time frame and you still see it crossing above the weekly then guys what are you waiting for you jump into the market and make money make some money for yourself look okay 
look for the one month the monthly time frame it's also on a downtrend why so once you get these confirmations guys you are ready to make money i'm just showing you if you want to make if you are a patient person and you want to make a lot from it with minimal lot size and even little equity guys i think trading on a daily and four hour time frame will be better for you if you want to make more with little equity and you must be a patient person you guys look at what i made from crash and boom using this strategy you can see it's almost a thousand dollars from crash 1000 index almost a thousand dollars from crash 1000 index look you can see i use this daily time frame the moment i saw it cross above i entered the trade i wasn't sure of it but when i checked on the weekly time frame see it also crossed and it's also selling guys i entered the trade you can see to check out the four hours this is where i got my entry from the four hour time frame yeah so guys it crossed above also on the four hour time frame you can see then i entered the trade at this point i entered the trade at this point and since then it has been on a heavy sell on a heavy sell on a heavy sell guys so when i entered this trade at this point i entered this trade at this point you can see i entered this trade at this point then i placed my stop loss above this high yeah so i placed my stop loss above this high it was when it was on massive profit so I left it this way for week, for months, guys, for months. Look, still on sale, still on sale. You can see, it's still on sale. So guys, it's still on sale. Check out when I open this trade. I open this trade. You can see, guys. Can you see the date I opened this trade? The 17th of May. 17th of May, I opened this trade. And to date, I'm still keeping the trade. That's two months now. So two months trade, it's still kept. So my target is to take the profit at five hundred dollars each so once it's one thousand dollars profit i'm shorting it so guys this is what i mean i'm taking the profit at one thousand dollars so guys see what i'm trying to let you know is that if you watch this trade is still going to sell so it's still selling it's still selling it just made a pullback and it's still continue selling yeah so guys this is what i want to make you understand is that look at the point i entered this trade look you can actually use a little equity to trade and make money using this strategy on a higher time frame just as i am doing now just as i did do you know that you can use a 20 dollar account to place this trade when you meet see this condition guys a 20 dollar account you can use it to place this trade and after placing that just with a minimal equity so you want just to be safe a minimal equity as twenty dollar and place with minimal lot size just like mine 0 0.20 for bringing 0 0.20 lot size bringing 468 dollar each you can see so you can use a 20 dollar account once you see this condition is met, guys, place your say and forget about it. Don't go there and keep checking it. Just forget about it. Guys, I'm telling you, when you go back two weeks later, you will see the difference. You will know, wow, something great happened. So, guys, I just showed you. And this is not the first time I'm doing this. I've been using this strategy. Like, I have some accounts. Uh, I think I have about three accounts that I use this strategy for 
mostly trading crash and booms yeah i use them only crash and boom because crash and boom have a way of movement like its movement is different from that of stepping this its movement its kind of movement is different from that of volatility so guys it's just for you to understand them if once the moment you keep on trading on with them you understand their kind of movement so if you watch crash um crash and boom they move mostly a transition method like they, are, they move mostly on the straight line they hardly get heavy pullback unlike volatilities they hardly get pullback unlike volatilities guys so okay they hardly get massive pullback unlike volatilities and step index that will have to blow maybe blow your account before it it continue its direction so guys trading on a long time frame it's stress free and it's more profitable it's stress free and it's more profitable guys because you use little have amount of money and make more instead of trading on short time frame like one minute just like you're scalping scalping the market which can generate loss also so guys keep on using this you can have a 20 dollar account and analyze the market check out for the four crash and booms index the all check out for all the crash and boom index and whichever gave you the condition to place a trade guys place it and leave it there guys i'm telling you the profit you make the kind of profit you make you can see showing you the result as proof that it worked yeah the condition was met and it worked so i know many people the moment they see their profit on even a 20 or 40 dollars or even 200 dollars they will take the profit instantly but i kept this trade and it's still running so i have a target i need to get there still going down so guys thanks for watching this video make sure you hit that red subscribe button and turn on notifications share this video guys to your friends let them know how to do this and make money also yeah so guys see let's see boom 500 boom 500 is still on a heavy set you can see boom 500 on a heavy set look guys check out the strategy check it out it works it costs above at this point look it cost above at this point it's a say you can see it's a say it crossed above again it's a say for boom 500 you saw that check out boom 1000 guys this is such a profitable strategy very profiting it's a very profitable strategy guys boom 1000 is on a heavy buy so same vice versa for crash and boom for boom when it's the red moving average cross below it's a buy it cross below it's a buy you can see that guys it crossed below it bought just as you can see four hour time frame look the condition was met here you can see what i'm talking about it didn't move the intersection remains and look at the buy keep on buying guys this is the system you can adapt to you do you won't have to stress yourself trading you just place trade I leave them for two weeks three weeks and then come see serve yourself a uh, heavy and huge profit so guys jump into this um this method and start making money for yourself guys start making money for yourself it's so easy to use you just see your your conditions are met guys you just place the trade use minimum lot size and then forget about it leave it there and you will see the way you do you know guys that it's fear it's because of fear that makes you not make enough profit from trading yeah it's because of the fear that you will see your trades on 25 dollars profit and then you quickly close it as 
saying that maybe you thinking that it might pull back and then that $25 profit will be no more then you quickly close it but guys if you are not seeing it definitely you won't be there to quickly close it and then it will yield more profit i believe a lot of us have, have closed trade and then it continue on our direction then we'll be saying feeling like oh i wish i didn't trade i didn't close that trade so guys that's it and something i noticed about a lot of amateur traders is that they they keep they keep loss and they close profit you keep your loss when you are on loss you keep it hoping it will come back but when you are on profit you close it scared of the of it to come back you are scared of it not to come back but you are not you are you are hoping for the loss to come back guys you see it and that's the reason why 99 percent blow their account because they keep their loss and they don't keep profit you get a profit of 10 15 dollars you close it you are on loss of 35 dollars you are hoping it will come back and you can't close it you don't want to close it because it's a huge loss you are hoping it will come back at the end of the day you get margin call and your account is boom so guys please let's take note and trade well so thank you guys once again like i really appreciate to the all my subscribers and and people who likes each and every video i upload and I like I guys i'm really grateful i appreciate i really appreciate when i see likes and subscribers on forex success so thanks guys and i i really promise i'll be at your service provide you with great strategies and how to make money out of crash and boom volatility in the sun stepping this making money consistently so thanks once again guys i really appreciate make sure you share this video and hit that like button thanks guys and good luck